guys, this is Marcus from eCalc and today I will demonstrate the key factors of best hover efficiency. To demonstrate the key factors for good hover efficiency I will use Xcopter Calc. Good hover efficiency has two main drivers. First the all up weight second the total disk area the total disk area is the area of all propellers you have in general you get a good hover efficiency by decreasing the all up weight to the maximum you can and increase the total disk area to the maximum for your frame. Here is the stock design of a DJ Phantom 3 using 9.4 inch by 5 inch propeller. I open the prop KV wizard and here is visible that DJI did mount the biggest possible prop for a 355 millimeter frame size. The 9.4 inch propeller still assures a proper propeller clearance and a good clearance against the center hub. I run the calculation now. Scroll down to the results and here we can see the total disk area of 277 square inch. Furthermore, we see the specific thrust. A key point for hover efficiency is 7.7 .7 grams per watt and a hover flight time of 20.8 minutes. As most people do not get the maximum out of their frame size regarding propeller size, I will show you now what's gonna happen if your propeller is not the maximum diameter for your frame size. Therefore we are going to decrease the propeller di diameter and pitch as well. Do another calculation and now we will see what the result will be. The total disk area is decreased by over 100 square inch now. The hover calculation still looks reasonable with a 50.4% throttle opening but you can see here the specific thrust did decrease to 6.29 watt grams per watt and the hover flight time came down as well to only 16.9 minutes. So the same copter, the same motor but just a different propeller demonstrates that with less total disk area the hover e efficiency will drop. As a conclusion we can say that the maximization of your propeller diameter in regard to the center hub and to the auto propeller will ensure you get a good hover efficiency. With the prop KV wizard you have an easy tool to find out what is the maximum propeller size for a good propeller clearance. But nevertheless we can not ensure 
the clearance towards your center hub, you have to measure this on your real frame. Therefore, always use the biggest prop fitting your real copter. I hope this helps you to increase your hover efficiency. I would appreciate your thumb up and your subscription to my channel and thank you for watching.